Okay, so today we are going to show you guys the Titan Post Pounder. This is the model, it's 2875, and uh, this kind of gadget we got for putting in fence posts and whatnot uh, for our business. And uh, we're going to just start opening the box and we're going to find out what's in this beast. Now, currently, I don't have a knife available, but I will. Cameraman never leaves home without it. Thank you, kind sir. Mm -hmm. So, I guess the, the deal with this, in our part of the country anyway, and this is 2021, this thing runs us like 600 bucks. So, always, and I repeat always, glad you're up here now, Jeremiah, on me, because when I'm talking, you know, make sure you give back the tool to the guy who lent it to you. You understand? See, I did that? All right. So here's what everybody seems to like to see is this unboxing thing, and I don't know why. Looks like a great big ass thing. Now, I will tell you, this thing is not light. And be it not for the enormousness of my pipes, it would be light. It would be like super heavy for the average Joe. You know what I mean? This is nothing. Watch one handed. I'm doing it in slow motion on purpose. I'll even do this in slow motion on purpose. Because I'm going to share enormous strength. If I wanted to, I could be doing this with one hand, but I don't right now. As I was saying, nothing to this when you're built like me. So, it has those protective things. I really don't know. I guess I'll leave this so you guys can see. I think this is. Oh, yeah. So now, we open this up. And in here appears to be our beast. Now, I guess. This sits on top. All right. I see a bunch of stuff in here. The book, which only read if you absolutely have to. Otherwise, this thing is just going to sit in there like that. Trigger. I don't know, man. I don't know what to think about that. It doesn't see. It seems flimsy to me. Well, I guess it's the safety part. So, from what I can see right now, there's your trigger. That's going to be a safety trigger thing. I suppose if you want to lock it or something, maybe. I don't know. i got to read on that. If I have to read, I will, but I really don't like to. So, before each use, I never read these things. That's an absolute last resort. But, there's that. Then... Hang on. There's all kinds of stuff here. I don't even know what those are, but again, here's a toolkit. The reason I know that is because it says so right on there. These, more things you don't know anything about. That looks like oil. Don't even know if we need that. What about this? Grease. I can use this on the skid steer. We'll use that over there in the skid steer. So, okay, so we thought it best. We probably should read this. I was just joking before, of course, we read them. So, here's what it says right out the gate. It says, check the engine oil level and refer to operator's manual for correct procedure and oil type. So, and that, I'm sure, is what this is. Um, I can't imagine they'd give us the wrong kind of oil right out of the gate. So yeah, that's premium four cycle. This is a this is a four stroke. I mean, uh, so it doesn't need that mixing. Um, use unleaded gasoline with octane 86 or higher. Do not mix gasoline with oil. Run engine at low to medium speed for the first 24 hours of use. Be sure all screws and fasteners are tight. Apply medium strength Loctite to clean threads if needed. Remember to check screws and fasteners that are not visible, <coughs> such as those inside the barrel. So there's even stuff 
When the hell do you see any screws inside the barrel? Huh. Well, the old, I don't know, maybe you did unscrew this thing. <coughs> I see something happening here. Maybe you should be where you can see what I see. Just a thought, I'm not a cameraman or anything, but pretty sure they would want to see what I'm seeing. Now what? Now I have a clearer view of the inside of nothing. <laughs> I don't know what this is. That's got to be my hammer, man. I don't see any screws in there. Come on, man. That's a big hammer. You could put all kinds of different posts. These, they're supposed to be guides for this thing. I think that's what those are, but we'll get to that. But before we do that, we're going to do everything those guys told us to do. We're going to check the oil. We're going to tighten every screw, and I'm not going to make you painstakingly watch me do that. So we will be right back. All right, so did a little more reading. And what it said was to empty the oil, because it does come with a little bit of oil right in it. It wants you to empty the oil out of this. And what did it say? Place this whole container in here? Is that what it said? All right, he's nodding, so that means yes. So, I guess I'm going to try and see if any... Oh, yeah. Remember when I said I wasn't going to painstakingly make you watch this? You don't have to watch this. You can fast forward through it. It's like watching paint dry. Who wants to watch that? Not me. All right, let's call that good. Now, I'm going to turn this a little bit this way. Wipe up that little bit of oil spillage there. All right. So, tilt this up. Tilt this oil in here. I'm sure you can see it by the angle my camera guy's on there. See how I subtly reminded him to actually pay attention to what's going on and not do whatever it is he was doing, watching paint dry once again instead of focusing? Go ahead, fast forward. I'm going to get every drop out of this thing for 600 bucks. Still there? Okay, all righty then. That's that. So now, we're supposed to get this on a level surface. Just a smidgen bit of oil there. Clean surface to work on. Now this, make sure this is cleaned up. Use a clean part of the rag instead of dirt. Don't want to put dirt in your motor immediately. Won't that take a little bit of time? I would guess. I hate when they have these flimsy little plastic. I don't like these caps. I guess I'm old school and I like them to be serious. Now I'm just going to get this thing on the level, as far level as what I can figure it to be how it should be and then I'll take a reed because it's kind of sitting at an angle like this boy whatever you do don't over tighten these caps I'll tell you that right now for free that thing is loaded what does that mean well I thought you said to put the whole thing in there don't thread it in don't thread it in mm -hmm. did it tell you not to thread it in well, why didn't you tell me that? I read it all down. You're the one that read the book. I read it. I, I thought you knew. How would I know? You're the guy that read the book, Doofy. Don't never now i got to put this up again. Here, get that level. Don't thread it in. Right here and read it. Is that it? Yes. Sorry about that, folks. He read the book. He just was going to let me go on and on about that. This is what pisses me off about him sometimes. Not even sometimes. A lot of times. All right. That's pretty good. That's, that's over that line on the dipstick, so I think that we're fine. So let's put this together. Unless there was something else, Jeremiah, that you read that I should have done, that you just didn't want to share with me until I blow it up. Ugh, don't over-tighten these things. Leave it as is. Okay. Now, I did find the on-off switch. That is here. And that's, so stop is in that position, that is run. What is this for, did you read? Run and That just seems to go down. That 
lock the trigger? Sure. Oh, it locks it so you don't have to, so you don't have to hang on to it. Okay, I got it. All right, what do you suppose this gasket is sitting here for? What the hell is that? Extra. Extra? They put a gasket on extra because it looks like a gasket to me. Are you paying it? Hello? God damn, what is this? Why is that in there? Was there anything that said take that out? Mm -hmm. What is it? Gasket stays. It says, huh? Carburetor gasket. It's carburetor gasket. So it stays just like that. All right, it says, notice after 24 hour, 25 hours of use, please replace the air filter sponge, which I'm sure is back in here somewhere. It's a very informative video. Very knowledgeable on the product. I'm glad you guys joined my expertise on this. That looks like a switch. That looks like it should. What in the hell? It's too. Oh, there it is. There's nothing to it. This would be the sponge that they're talking about here. And I had two clips right here, okay? Figured that out on my own, even though Jeremiah is the one that read the book and didn't say anything. Whatever. So now we have to put high octane fuel in here. Do we have any high octane fuel over there? At least 87. Well, at least 87 is the low one, so that's nothing to come up with that. I'm gonna cut that off. What are you videotaping that we're going to have to cut out because you have no idea where you're Jesus, is this your first time on a camera? No. Well, what are you doing, man? <laughs> get the fuel. Come on, man, you're better than that. You should be able to film what's going on and get the fuel, but your focus needs to be on the camera. This is for the other people. It's not about you, Jeremiah. Piss me right off. All right. All right, let's put some of this super duty high octane fuel in here. Are we gonna read anything that had to do with those heads that go on the inside? Or are we just gonna figure that out as we go as well? Nothing in the book on it. What? Serious. Really? The book's stupid. Really? Just an exploded view of the machine and that's it. What? Yep, and a warning for the oil. So what are you, what is it, one size fits all? I thought they gave us adapters. We have to address this issue. I know these are here for some reason. Are you, what are you doing with the camera again? Looking at you. Why? Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, I see. When you put these on, it changes the diameter. Okay, come over here and look. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Why are you coming this way? Go this way. You, where are you? See here? That, that's just for some great big old, you know, like if you're pounding like, uh, for like the, Oh, what do they call it? Chain link fencing for like around your yard and stuff. I bet you that's what that's for. So you can get a big round post in the ground. So if you take this one off. And by the way, these are plastic. They're not uh, made out of steel by any stretch. Let's see if you put this one on, for example. See how it changes the diameter to hold your post, right? And it has it right on here, what it's for, what size. All right, I got it. So you have that one. You have this one, which is even has a deeper, deeper well to it here for whatever reason. So you got these two, you got this monster, and you got this. And I think this is for those little skinny fiberglass poles pretty much. I'm pretty sure that's what, what these guys are for. So. Today's application would be, we're going to put the T-posts in, so I'm going to try to get this on without cross-threading it. No easy task. Anytime it's plastic on steel, I hate it. Because you can just screw up those threads so quickly. I know guys, it's like watching paint dry, I know. I know, I just don't want to strip the threads. Oh my God, and this is left-handed. I think I got it now. 
I'm right handed, you see? There's a lot of threads on this thing. All right, don't over tighten it. Like I may have just done. All right, I don't know what this is. I feel like I just want to pop it off like it's a cap, but I, well, it obviously is a cap. Probably for oil in there or something, something in there. All right, was there anything else? All right, screws are tightened. We did everything. We should be able, from the looks of it, it's like there's a piston in here, and that thing's just going to go boom, 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 up and down and hammer it in. So we should be ready to go. So, this can get cut off. I'll stay in front of the camera because I know what he does. You know, I'll keep trying to stay in front of the camera as he's fetching tools and shit. All right. There we go. That part is done. Now, where's my bulb on this thing? Because I know it's... <coughs> Excuse me. What is happening? I feel like it should be right there. Is it, is it underneath this thing? Right here. Why don't you tell... I just seen it. It's right there. I knew it. Took my glasses off. You guys are gonna get old someday yourself. Now I see the fuel going into this. That's plenty of pumps. I wonder if there's a choke on this. I'm doing a video, Jeremiah. There's a choke. I'm literally unscrewing it because it's wedged in this boat, which has been in here for two weeks and he doesn't have it done yet. Pisses me off, but that's a whole nother video. This is the choke. Put it up for choke and down to take it off. You guys see that? Did you see where that was? Or are you too busy? You're too busy doing something else, weren't you? Again, here's choke right here. All right. So if this first off, take that back up. I thought you tightened all the screws. Why is this? Oh my God, Jeremiah. Oh no, this one doesn't get tightened. What do you think this is? Battle control, maybe? I don't know. We're gonna read up on all this stuff as soon as we get done with this video. Which I'm sure will be an enormous help to all of you at home. So now, I think what we do, we primed it, I choked it. Choke would be in this position. Should fire up. switch on. Yes. I believe the switch is on. Stop is this way. It's on. It should work. What is happening? Brand new, baby. Maybe you don't have to choke it right away. Just maybe. Alright. We gotta let this warm up. So now, it's actually in the middle of winter, so our ground is pretty hard out here uh, right now. If you go outside, the ground is frozen. We're here in Wisconsin, uh, but we're inside, so it hopefully won't be as bad. But I'm going to fire it up. Now, one thing I did notice, the height on this thing. I mean, look at this. You gotta, I got to get up here. I got to get on this thing and then try to hold that thing there 
while it's going. Almost looks like a two-man operation almost. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Flare it up and see what it says. Turn it on. Always best. So, I don't know how many seconds that was. That seemed like it took a little bit, but that's that hard ground too. You know, I wish it was summertime. I wish we could try it out more so then. And, uh, I mean, it does work. It does put them in. It seemed like right away it didn't do very much at all. And I'm sure that's that frozen ground, you know. Um, but it does work. It does put them in there. Again, it's almost like a two-man operation. It'll probably be easier Maybe, maybe where Jeremiah's a bigger guy, maybe he could just stand it and put it up there. I don't know, but either way, this thing is not light. It's 60-some pounds, I think, and uh, I don't know. It does the work. So I guess, in a nutshell, what I'll tell you about it, what I don't like, uh, you can tell right out of the box, it almost seems like it, it's one of those things, and yeah, I know most everything comes from China today, but you think... I mean, I looked at a couple different ones, and one of them was like $400, and I was going to buy that one, but then I thought, no, don't spend the money on that because it's probably going to be just junk, you know. You can tell when you pull them out of the box. What I don't like is when I see things that are flimsy, okay. This isn't so bad, but definitely when you get into these switches, these are cheap as can be. These are all super cheap. I hate seeing plastic on, on steel, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I guess, hope you know, the nice part, it does do the job. Um, these, uh, these shocks right here, I don't know if you can see these shocks. I'll kind of show them to you there. But they take a lot of vibration out. You don't even know this thing is going. When you have it up in the air and you're hanging on to it, it's nothing. It doesn't shake the piss out of you or anything like that. So, um, as far as that goes, so far so good, I guess. Um, I don't know. We're going to use it, uh, what we use it for, one of the things we're going to use it for is like putting up these banners that we have here for our business, and, uh, that, and then we just put ratchet straps on them and hold them tight, stuff like that, but you can use it for horse fences or whatever, um, and remember the big ends on there, you can use those for putting in around your backyards or whatever too, so I guess overall, my opinion of this thing is like right in the middle right now, so I mean, it's, it's the middle of winter here. Very cold. You can tell by my breath, I'm sure, but it is cold. Ground's frozen, so it took it a lot longer than it probably would take. I think normally it said it's like 10 or 12 seconds, but it took a lot longer than that for, for me to get it in here. So, anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it. Talk to you later.